All right, guys, as we promised, we are here with 21 Pilots. Um, they kind of get pissed at me because I'm always on the air saying, you know, my favorite, 21 Pilotes, and they call, and they're like, you can't say that, man. That's not the name of the band. So do I have permission? Can I say that on Pilote? the radio? Pilote? Yeah. You know, just having fun with the name. No, I'm, I'm cool with that. You're cool with yeah, that? Yeah, it's like, it's really up to your interpretation. Yeah, okay. I, I, with you guys, what was the moment that you kind of realized it was more than just being individual guys and really all of a sudden people started recognizing you and you're like, oh shoot, man, this thing is getting kind of big. What was that moment for y'all? Um, I guess in a way that moment happens a little bit every day. Uh, I'm trying to think, do you, do you have any specific? I think uh, I'll always remember like the 4th of July, maybe a couple years ago uh in columbus ohio where we're yeah. from i rode my bike downtown to meet up with some friends and once i got down there because there's like they do the fireworks down there and stuff and so there's like about 100 you know 100,000 people or whatever so i lost cell service couldn't get a hold of my friends and so i ended up watching these fireworks by myself and uh the local radio station there had a playlist and our song was on there and i was standing there by myself with my bike and uh, the song comes on, and then all of a sudden, like everybody just like, like turns their heads and looks at, <laughs> looks at you. Like, and I'm like hey, by dude, myself. Man. I got like my helmet on. Right. And I'm just like, hey guys. <laughs> um, so that was like kind of a funny moment, but it was like also it was kind. Of, I mean, it was kind of it was cool too because it was just like, dang, like all these people are are hearing our music um, in a way that I never really like imagined. Right. And so it was I, cool I, I remember mine. Now that I'm thinking about it. All right, all right. Um, we were in, I think we were in Australia, and uh, we had an off day, and I had my wife on tour with us, and so we went out and we walked by this like uh, a massage parlor thing. We're like, hey, let's get like a massage, like a couples massage. And so you know, we're they didn't do couples massages, so like they didn't have like two beds in one room, so they kind of had this like partitioned off thing. So I was like, ah, oh, that sucks. Like we can't like be around together during during one of those massages but so anyway there's this dude massaging me and uh kind of this like lanky guy and he uh, i think he was he was asian and uh just very just no expression on his face very relaxed and didn't like you could tell he was tired and he didn't want to be there and so he's kind of like doing the thing and i'm laying there like with you know just a towel on or whatever and afterwards and then he finishes up because you always know they're done when they start hitting yeah you. yeah so he finishes up and and uh and then right before he's, he's like oh, i'm finished and uh and right as i'm like kind of sitting up waiting for him to leave so that i can get you know back to my clothes he goes hey i'm a big fan <laughs> <laughs> you're like great and i was like what the heck <laughs> i don't think i've gotten a massage since then honestly <laughs> you've been scarred for life with that one so all right, well, uh, I got a couple listener questions for you then. First of all, we'd like uh, to ask you guys uh, to clarify the rumor, uh, you know, it's true. How, that you met on Tinder. Mm. <laughs> Very true. Very true. Yeah. How does that story go? How did that even get started? Is that the uh, Tinder one? Um, we probably just told that story. Yeah? yeah. You just did that? We just yeah. kind of let them know. Okay. Well, it, as long it, as you're proud of it. It good. would be true. Okay, it's not true. It would be true if Tinder was around when we actually met. Yeah, right. if anyone sure did their research, they'd realize that that's not true. But yeah. we actually met on uh, uh, Match.com. Match. .com. Match, .com. match. That, that was that, that existed was, at that. Point. Well, yeah. more relationships start on Match.com than any other site in the world. Yeah, it's right. Really, that's that's what I hear. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, and uh, obviously you're you're a big fan of, of the Bell, and uh, and we love us some Taco Bell. Mm. So yeah. uh, uh, you know, standard order. Uh, I mean, especially say maybe you're in Hawaii and maybe your wife wanted to eat something local, and and you said <laughs> no, we're gonna go try the new queso lupa. Uh, <laughs> like, what, what exactly would, what happened? What would your order be? Um, I gotta be honest with you, the queso lupa, I wasn't too pumped on. No, I not got it. it. It sounds like a good idea, and then you get it, and you're just it's just. I don't know. Maybe maybe the expectation was just too high. You know, gotcha. like, yeah, yeah. One of the first times that I had like In and Out Burger it isn't around where I'm from in Ohio, and they talk about it out in LA all the time. And I had it, and I just thought it was going to be amazing. And same thing with the quesalupa. So the my, hype. it's yeah. the hype. It's the hype. It, it can ruin it. Yeah. It really can. 
happens with movies, happens with music, happens with our show. You, know, you no, could be no. you could be Case of Lupin tonight. <laughs> um, <laughs> the new but, but I think the one go to for us is probably the cheesy Gordita Crunch. Oh, we both love one. that one. It's never yeah. let us down. Um, I feel like the chicken quesadilla is usually a staple, but they with that with the jalapeno sauce they can they can really make it or break it. Yeah. yeah. And your feelings on the Mexi melt because that's just a good one. Uh, my grandma used to always order that. And so it's an old person. I mean, I I know I'm a little. Old. I, I don't want to <laughs> so, say anything. Okay. But it's I appreciate it. it. It's, it's all good. <laughs> that's always a great one. <laughs> all right, guys. Tonight the show. We're so stoked. Um, uh, anything to expect tonight and a greatness just uh, how do you want the fans to react in the audience hands up standing on their feet the entire time singing along every word if yeah. they want to sit I'm usually I'll usually allow it because okay. he's sitting okay. yeah I sit pretty much the whole time <laughs> so it's that. like kind of unfair for me to require everyone else to stand cool um, no I mean I'll I'll call them out for okay. sitting all right. some people get front row whatever we'll help out the, him sitting. especially if they're in the pit the and they're sitting yeah, yeah that that's, a, that's like kind of a weird thing. Yeah, why'd you spend your money for that? Mm -hmm. So um, we're gonna we're just gonna absolutely destroy it tonight. You can expect that. Um, we're gonna we're gonna crush every expectation, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll just stop <laughs> it right slowly, there. Slowly yeah. let Thank you down. You I, I appreciate <laughs> it. Thank you guys. Twenty one pilots.